Martin here, thank you for joining me for this week's Turner's Journey, which is episode 43. I hope you're all well and you have had uh, super creative weeks and weekends in your workshops all over the world. Um, I've, there's been a flurry of new subscribers um, over the past couple of weeks and I'd like to say a big warm welcome to, to all of the new subscribers and of course a big warm welcome to those of you who have been sticking with me for weeks and weeks and months and months. Thank you very much. Um, I, I've got to apologise again that there's no video this week. Uh, you may, if you've watched recent episodes of um, Turner's Journey, you would have heard that I've had some family stuff to uh, be dealing with. Um, and I had actually filmed a video for um, this piece over here. Um, and I've got the video in the can uh, for that, but I haven't yet filmed the opening and closing part of it. And I was going to do that on Monday, um, but unfortunately the family business that um, I had to um, uh, kind of help take care of took uh, a, a turn for the worse. And um, sadly we have uh, suffered a bereavement in the family this week, uh, which happened on Monday morning. Uh, which is why the video hasn't been finished, but it will be done for next week. Um, I just need to film the opening and closing of that video and then it'll be up for you uh, next week. Um, so yes, there's been some rather uh, sad news to be dealing with this week, uh, which is why the video is not here. Um, so on, on much more positive notes, um, organisation with UKIS is still going swimmingly, tickets are selling really well, which is awesome. And it, it's... I, I needed, I've really been feeling the pressure of um, the symposium and also uh, the other event that um, I help organise, which is the week after, which is a, a charity event about cricket. Um, I've really, really been feeling the pressure this week, so I took a couple of days off. Um, I took Wednesday off and I went to see uh, Ron Caddy, who is um, one of the UK's best known uh, pen turners. And I spent a lovely few hours with him over, his, over at his workshop in Andover, or near Andover in uh, Hampshire here. And um, yeah, we put the world to rights and um, watched him um, do a little bit of turning and we shared coffee and cake and it was really, really nice. And yesterday, which was the 2nd of June, um, I headed all the way over to Kent, which is um, about a two hour drive, and I went to see Ed Oliver. Now, I, um, I went to Ed, I went to see Ed to deliver his order of Hampshire Sheen, um, and I have, a, I have a birthday coming up shortly, so I decided that I would um, get some birthday presents. <laughs> so, and, and anybody who's followed me for ages will know that you've never seen me do any Halloween. That's because I've never done it. Um, I've never done any Halloween uh, until yesterday. Um, Ed was very welcoming and um, he let me try various um, Halloween tools that he has. Um, and in the end I plumbed with the Robert Sorby um, Ultima Halloween tool, which is this beasty looking thing here. Um, I went with the 22 inch handle um, and I played with it. Um, I hollowed out a piece, my very first piece, which was a piece of, um, well we tried some willow and some horse chestnut. And I found that the, the Ultima system, this one, um, really fitted my style of turning. And I really like the um, flexible head, you can bend the head um, around and the protective cut. Um, with the, uh, the cutter guard up here and the I went with the secondary handle as well the extra the extra handle um, and I found that it really really suited uh, and I found it really easy to use as well uh, and the the Ultima itself the big long handle like this it's got a you can unscrew unscrew the end to put a, um, a counterweight in if you need to or extend the handle even longer and it also comes with two other collets that fit in here. Let me just open that up. Oh. It comes with two other collets so you can fit different size bars in. Um, I can't remember the, the sizes off the top of my head, but you can fit other, um, other size bars in there. So you can fit other tools 
um, other styles of tools and stuff. Uh, there's a spindle gouge version and a bowl gouge version and all sorts of stuff. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with that and I'm looking forward to um, having a go with that. Uh, I'm going to have a little practice just on my own off camera um, this afternoon. I think just to uh, have a bit of a play and then who knows there'll be a Halloween video from me uh, in the next few weeks. Um, I also um, picked up a 50mm force a bit. Um, uh, Simon Hope calipers. Um, I really enjoy. I really like these calipers. Is there's a, a measuring scale actually on there? So I was very happy with that. So I can check my wool thickness and stuff. And I also picked up a selection of blanks too. So all in all, it was a lovely day with Ed. Um, oh, spent six or so um, hours with Ed just putting the world to rights about wood turning and stuff like that, and had a really really lovely day. So Ed, if you're watching, thank you very much indeed for the time and your coffee as well. And, um, and for showing me your Halloween tools and your workshop and stuff. Top guy. Um, yeah, the, right, this piece, which will be the subject of next week's video, was full of design changes. Uh, it's walnut with um, a holly finial. Um, and unfortunately, the camera, it, because of the design changes, the camera battery died when I was turning the finial, which is really annoying. Um, but I don't quite know what it is. Um, it looks kind of a bit like a, I don't know, maybe a, a Japanese salt cellar or something like that. But it's got a little foot on it and, and yeah, but anyway, you'll, you'll see in the video on Tuesday. Um, and I'm hoping to get um, a beginner's series video out as well next week, which I think will be a little, I think it'll be a little bowl. Um, last week I also mentioned the liming wax that um, I've um, developed, put together, whatever. Um, and here it is in its tin, um, Thai wax. Um, the, um, the mystery ingredient I alluded at last week was titanium dioxide. Um, and titanium dioxide you find in sunscreen and um, oil paints and sunglasses and sunscreen. Oh, I said that. Um, and the result is great, as you saw in the, uh, the ebonized oak piece. So um, there's a limited supply of these at the moment, so it, I will just want to test the water with it really. Um, but all the labels are here and yeah, it's all good. It's all good, it's all, it's all quite exciting. Um, so despite having two days off this week, um, a lot as far as wood turning and stuff um, has, has happened. And I'm really, really looking forward to getting going with um, hollowing with um, the Ultima so I can push my wood turning and my creations that little bit further so you guys won't have to be putting up with bowls all the time. I'll be able to do vases and other sorts of uh, hollow forms like that. So you'll see all of that in the next few weeks and months as I get to grips with hollowing. I will do a, um, a Turner's Journey from the, actually from the symposium itself so it'll go up quite late. Um, that day um, and it'll be in a different, a slightly different format because I'll have to do it off my phone. So that's going to be brilliant. I'm so, so excited about the symposium. If, if you're in the UK and you haven't got tickets yet and you want to come, it's the 18th and 19th of June um, in, um, in Coventry at the Hilton Hotel and you can get tickets from the link that's in the, in the description. Um, well, that's it for this week, folks. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, again, apologies that there's no video this week. Um, but there, there is a very, very valid reason. I hope you agree. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on Tuesday for the walnut and holly salt cellar, I think. Um, Wednesday for a small bowl, probably. And um, then the week after that um, for probably a hollow form vase. Thanks very much indeed for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.